Season number three is just hours away in Madden 24, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing what you can be doing right now before the season changeover. Now, Soul Soul Sif family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you're watching this. Had a wonderful weekend. Hope you have a great Monday, and without further ado, let's get started with tip number one. Now, this one is pretty simple. I'm not going to lie to you. It's probably something you thought of as well, but it's getting to a certain level in the season one field pass before the field pass expires. Let me explain. Now, in my opinion, there's a couple I would call them highlighted levels in this field pass, which if you're close to right now, it's worth grinding to them before the season changeover happens, which by the way, that's happening on Wednesday morning. So you only have about 48 hours from when this video gets posted. Now, let me tell you which levels those ones are. So if you're chilling, maybe like one level below that or two levels below that, you can get on the grind and get to that level. Because in my opinion, these are the most important rewards. Now, the first one, which I think is very, very important is level number 50. Level number 50 gets the Randy Moss player up to a 91 overall. And there is such a big difference between Randy Moss at his maximum versus Randy Moss, one level below his maximum. At his maximum, he's got 92 speed. At the level below that, he's got 89 speed. It is such a big difference. So right now, if you're close to level 50, get there. Now, the next level that I would say is pretty important is level number 45. This Micah Parsons card is a damn good player. You could argue he's the best pass rusher in Madden 24, and I don't think I would disagree with you on that. So you can get like the best receiver at level 50, the best pass rusher at level 45. If you're close to either of these, if you're at level 44 or 43, get to 45. If you're at level 48 or 49, get to level 50. If you're watching this right now at like level 45 and you want to get all the way to level 50, it's doable, but it is going to be a bit of a grind. I should let you know. Okay, moving on. A couple other levels that I would highlight that I would say are fairly important. I don't think level 40 is like crazy important. Randy Moss getting that plus one upgrade isn't that amazing. I would say level 39 is decently important. The star lead pack is actually a good one in this game. Then next up, I would also say that this Travis Kelsey at level 35, fairly important. This is a good card right here. One of the best tight ends in Madden. We have gotten some other tight ends that are better than him but he's still like a top four player at his position. That's damn good. And then otherwise right here, I would say level 28 isn't a bad one. The pro playmaker pack is good. And I would also say level 25 is pretty important as well. Upgrading that Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is a nice pass rusher. I don't think he's a great edge rusher. I'd say Micah Parsons is more that mold, but I would say Aaron Donald as like a DT, very good. So if you're close to any of those levels I just mentioned, 25, 28, 35 for Travis Kelsey, 39, level number 45 or level 50, I would try and get to one of those levels if you're like one or two levels away. Okay, tip number two. Before we talk about that, boys, we actually probably had my craziest night on Underdog Fantasy yesterday. It wasn't because I hit a ton of picks. It was because I hit this one big boy on the screen for $750. Now, fellas, I was feeling so, so confident about these picks, but you can see how close it was. Aiden O'Connell, easy. Zach Wilson, literally millimeters away from going higher. Now, bro, I know a thing or two about millimeters. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about my fingernails. They're pretty small, uh, but yeah, I know a thing or two about millimeters. That was like one or two millimeters away from going higher. Ridiculous, but a massive win. We had such a fun time sweating that one out over on Twitter. If you guys were following me on Twitter, uh, you saw the videos I posted, the photos I posted. That was a fun time watching that game. So if you guys want to check out the place where I made that pick, it's called Underdog Fantasy. I will leave it linked down below in the description. A big shout out to all you guys that copied that picks last. I saw someone hit a pick five with those picks for a thousand bucks. I saw a lot of people having wins yesterday with those picks. So again, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy and make some picks for tonight, I will leave it linked in the description. Use the promo code Swift as you're signing up, SWIFT. You can spell. I'm assuming you probably can. And that will get you a Josh Allen 0.5 yards line for the game tonight. Josh Allen's line set to half a yard. If you're a new sign up and you use my code, it's linked in the description. You can click that link or download the app and put in my code. All right, tip number two. This is something we talked about in the past season changeover. But as you can see right here, look how season one ends in two days and nine hours from when I'm recording this video. I'm recording this Sunday night, by the way. And look how the competitive pass ends in four days and nine hours. There's a two day gap in there, meaning when when season three comes out in this game, the competitive pass is still going to be the same. So what I recommend you do is get as close as possible to an XP token in this field pass and then stop. Now, the reason why that's the case is see for me right now, I'm at level number 29. I'm literally like 30 competitive points away from getting to level 30. I almost said CP right there. I don't say that on the channel. I would never say that. No, but like I was saying, see how close I am to getting to level number 30. Well, what I can do is right when season three comes out in this game, I can get the remaining little bit of competitive points and get to level 30 and this XP token in Instead of giving me XP in season two, it will give me XP on day one of season three. That's a massive, massive head start. And we actually confirmed this theory in the season changeover from season one to season two. This is very, very important, boys. What I would recommend you do is get as close as possible to an XP token in this pass and then stop. So level 29, I'm waiting right here. You could wait at level number 25. You can really wait at any position that's right before an XP token in this game. Honestly, the best one would probably be to like get to level number 11. Level number 11 right here, as you can see, you could get to level 12 and then you could probably get to 
level 15 as well in that two day period you have before the competitive pass changes and while you can rack up XP here. So yeah, absolutely critical that wherever you are in the competitive field pass, I would strongly suggest you get to one level before an XP token. For me, we're at 29. There's a lot of places you can do that on the pass though, and it's very worth it. To buy Madden 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link in the description and use promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. All right, tip number three, boys. If you guys are playing through the Isaac Bruce event in this game, I don't know how much more time is left on this. Or yeah, it's only two days and 13 hours. So this Isaac Bruce event is going to expire when the season expires. So if you're watching this video and maybe right now you have already played through your regular season in this event, or maybe you're in your playoffs and you forgot about it, be sure if you have already made progress on this event, you play through it. Obviously for me personally, I actually lost my last season. I had an undefeated season on stream and lost the Super Bowl, which really, really Stinks, but for those of you guys that already have progress on a season, I would say be sure you bang it out. It's worth a shot. Like if you're watching this and you're in your playoffs, or maybe you're watching this and you've already won like four regular season games, I would say it's worth going through and trying to complete that in the next two days and 11 hours, just because that progress will kind of be wasted when the season ends. So just a tip right there. All right, next up right here on the topic of the All Madden Field Pass, I want to let you guys know that this pass is expiring in two days as well. I'm in such a weird situation where I actually kind of decided, you know what, I'm not playing online right now because I want to stop at that level for my competitive pass, but by not playing online, I've kind of screwed myself from completing this pass right here. Because obviously now I can't complete this mission right here, which doesn't allow me to get to level number 18. If you're watching this, you're close to level 18. I would recommend you do it. For me personally, I kind of made a bad decision, I think a couple days ago, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to pause on the competitive field pass at the start of this weekend. And I decided, okay, I'm just going to stay right there for season number three. But that kind of cost me in this all Madden field pass. If you guys are close to a level you like in this all Madden field pass get to it obviously with the xp stuff it's not carrying over to season three this one ends when season two ends as well so if you want any progress in here get it on before it's too late now the other tip i'm going to give you right here is i would recommend you get fairly liquid with your coin stack i would say if you have players on your team that maybe are backups you might want to sell them off and the reason why is because i think there's actually always a kind of unique opportunity right when these season players get revealed so like right when randy moss got revealed for wide receivers the other wide receivers went down in price and it's really weird right because you can't get the full range Randy Moss in season number two for a while after it comes out, but there's kind of just that phenomenon in the market that typically what happens when players get revealed is guys sell off their current cards at that position if they know they want to make the upgrade and just because they're excited. So I don't think it's a horrible idea to take a look at whatever position group is getting a master player in season number three and then maybe look at upgrading. So say for example, we got like a good cornerback as the master. I don't think that's going to be the case. Let's say we get like a running back. For example, we haven't gotten a really good running back. I feel like in the past, what you could maybe look to do is you could maybe say, okay, we got this running back. I know I'm not getting it for a while. Maybe this Alvin Kamara card comes down to 250k. Maybe he drops a ton because people are like, oh, wow, I'm going to be getting this free running back. I might as well sell my AK. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to scroll down and drop a like. Helps me out a ton. And if you want to hit that sub button, it's optional, but I would very much appreciate it. Obviously, Underdog is linked down below in the description as well. Appreciate y'all so very much for the love. I, I love that I get to do this. this is my job, and I appreciate you a ton. I'm out, man. Peace.